parents there at Palmer Home for Children. So share a little bit about your journey. We came to Palmer Home two summers ago in 2019, and um, you know God led us here through multiple different um, things that happened in our life, like adopting our son from state foster care, and then also meeting some friends at church that are current house parents here, the Harrisons. And so God really used um, just multiple life-changing events to really open our, our eyes and hearts towards Palmer Home and the way that we can be a part of this ministry long term. Yeah, it was actually a Facebook post from uh, one of the house parents that was currently here at Palmer Home uh, that we went to church with. And I saw that Facebook post and the Lord was kind of working on me over a couple of months. And then I mentioned something to Katie about it. And through thoughtful prayer and just discussion, uh, we reached out to uh, to that house parent couple. And that as they say, is is the way the story went. That's that's the history of it. So yeah. Well, we keep hearing the word house parent, and I think we recognize that you have a mom and a dad, and they're in a house, and there's a bunch of kids. But what is sort of your role as house parent there at Palmer Home? Well, there's lots of roles. Um, we, you know. Think about a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad even. Uh, you're doing doctor's appointments and you're doing field trips at school. Uh, you're taking kids to the park, uh, you know, uh, to uh, birthday parties of their classmates, things like that. Um, so that's definitely a part of it. Uh, but, of course, you know, you, you have um, – the emotional side of it, the spiritual side of it, uh, you know, we're, we're not only there to, to feed them, clothe them, take them where they need to go, but we really are uh, taking to heart as one of the things that we're here to do is to really try to guide these kids in a way uh, that we feel like is, you know, the way that, that, that kids should be uh, raised in, in a godly home and a home that shows them how to love and, uh, and, and what all that means. So we keep hearing it's a Christ-centered family approach there at Palmer Home. Let, let us in on sort of what does that look like. Is there prayers before meals? Are you doing devotionals? Do you, you know, do you help them with any spiritual questions? I mean, what does it look like to be, you know, faith-centered house parents? Yes, ma'am. We, you know, obviously church attendance is a priority for us. Attendance of small groups. We have a lot of teenage girls right now, I think, three or four. We have four teenage girls right now. And so the importance that they are plugged into their age group. Um, we have girls that meet once a week with their small group leader. You know, they're able to stay the night with them and just build those healthy connections that are not just at Palmer Home, but also in the community is very important for us. So how do you balance it all, Katie and Robert? Because I just heard uh, earlier from Lacey, who's a house parent, uh, Nate was one of her uh, uh, children there, that she has the biggest calendar. She said she went and got one of the big dry erase-like things to keep up with the nine kids going in 90 different directions. So how do you guys keep, you know, the, the chaos under control? Yeah, I mean, the calendar on the wall is definitely, I think it's something that every house probably has. I don't think ours is quite as big as Lacey's, but we have a, a pretty good one that, uh, you know, we can erase the month and start over. And they really like that. The children really love to know that they can walk into the kitchen and look on the wall and see, okay, well, I've got this thing coming up, you know, because it, it gives them uh, even even that next level of, of kind of like personal identity. I have, I have this thing going on, you know, pool party with a friend from school or something like that. So... The schedule is very important. Um, you know, you talked about balancing the busyness and things like that. It really is kind of like the, the, the juggling the balls or all the plates spinning in the air. That you, you have a lot going on, and when it's just basically two, two against, you know, eight, nine sometimes, uh, you really have to make sure that you have things organized and you have things planned out. Um, but with that being said, we definitely are able to kind of last minute adjust and kind of fly out of the seat of our pants sometimes. We try to capitalize on appointments to where if I'm taking someone to a dentist appointment, we're also going to run by Starbucks or into the local coffee shop. And we're able to really use that time for one-on-one -on -one connection and checking in with the children. I like to do that on appointment days with them. I know as a parent myself, one of the joys is just watching your children grow into their own and watching their personalities sort of, un, you know, evolve over time. And I say that as a, with a nine-year-old. I hear you have multiple teen girls and I start to cringe for you and for myself. But I know many of the children who come to Palmer Home, maybe they haven't had the chance to really flourish and really, you know, find out their true personalities or, 
or, you know, the things that they enjoy. So what is it like being house parents to watch the children sort of transition from, you know, first getting on campus to being in a safe environment to then really watching them sort of grow into their own? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a really, you know, a really cool thing about one of the really cool things about what we get to do is we get to see uh, the progression that you're talking about. Um, we've been here for two years. Um, and so, you know, we've been able to see uh, new children come in. We've actually been blessed enough to see some children, you know, go back to their biological parents or family members. And so, you know, when you see a, a child go from kind of very timid, not really know, you know, what their place is here at Palmer or in our home to really kind of settling into a, you know, a good groove with us, with the other children and, and find a little bit of what you can, you can literally see sort of the breath of relief happen. And, and that's a great thing to see. Absolutely. I'm sure that's a good thing. So if someone's listening to y'all's story, Katie and Robert, and maybe they're still on the fence or haven't picked up and called our number yet, which is 662-469-5533, or gone online to supertalk.fm slash Palmer Home to donate, what would be your plea to them to say that every dollar matters to give you the opportunity to continue to pour into these children's lives in a faith-centered way? I would say that I you know, wholeheartedly believe in the mission of Palmer Home and the way that it does approach holistic care for the child. We try to attack healing from all angles, and that means um, educationally, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. We really try to create a plan and a healing path for each child, and that is not free of cost. And so we know that every dollar does matter for each child here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I don't think it's any secret that Palmer Home is, you know, home 100% donation based run. And so uh, knowing what we know as far as just our home, the budget of our home, and then there's, you know, the other cottages as well, um, th the numbers are just, they're overwhelming. And the fact that, that we have been doing this as long as we have been doing it, and the, the doors have never shut, they, we've never had a problem taking care of these kids. And, you know, and that's really the main thing. Uh, we're not talking about, you know, uh, building a bigger home for a CEO or anything like that. We're talking talking about taking care of, of, of human beings, taking care of these precious children. And, you know, I think that's what blows me away the most is that there are so many out there that believe in this mission, that believe in what we're doing, you know, that they not only want to give their money now, but, the, you know, we have people that, that give generationally, you know, uh, we have uh, children of, ch of, you know, grand grandparents that have passed this, this mission down to their grandchildren who are now giving, you know, to this, to this organization. So, it's so important if, you know, like you said, if you're on the fence of whether or not, you know, to give to Palmer Home, it's not about Katie, it's not about, it's not about me, it's about these children, and it's about giving them the kind of place that for, you know, 120 plus years that this, that this organization has, has given these children. I loved how you mentioned, Robert, in the beginning that you sort of had that pull at your heart from God, that this is just where you were meant to be, and we're all not meant to be house parents, right? We're not all meant to go all in in that way, but I feel like someone's been listening to the radio. Radiothon uh, for several hours now, or maybe they're just tuning in for the first time, and they've got that little nudge right there. They've got a number in their head that they know they should, probably should do, whether it's 10 or maybe even $100, and they keep making those small excuses. Well, you shouldn't. You should just go in, dial, go all in with what you feel like God's leading you to do, and it will. you never know what the rippling effect of your generous gift will, will do, which I'm sure you guys had no idea with your little bit of a nudge where you would be sort of two years later, right? Right, but it's the best place possible. That's right. You know, and it really is as simple as as a very small thing. You know, like I mentioned, uh, it was a Facebook post that brought Katie and I to to this place to being you know house parents here at the Palmer home and so you know you just never know what one little gesture what one little gift something that you may think is insignificant uh, you know what God can do with that you know it's, it's like the, the 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 fish the fish and the bread that that he you know fed all those people with right like that small lunch pail that this little boy brought, you know, fed all these, all these people. And so, you know, that's the kind of God that we serve, the kind that can take something so small and it might seem insignificant and really multiply it for, you know, for the, the furthering of his kingdom. And that's really what we're doing. You know, this, this work is, is kingdom work. You know, yes, it's, it's a, it's a, a job, 
but it's not you know this is a calling this is this is a mission field and we need you to call 662-469-5533 right now katie and robert thank you so much for your time and and what you're doing there at palmer home for children if you don't want to call i get that you can go on take your browser over to supertalk.fm slash palmer home you can hit the donate button there and it'll take you through the steps to donate online or you can just hit that auction and go ahead and place a bid remember that's just like making a donation as well but you get a nice little goodie out of it But we've got more good things.